What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. We are currently in Vermont and we are actually headed to Maine today. So this whole time we've been saying Texas to Maine and I think that today we will get there which is pretty exciting. So we have a long drive ahead of us. It's about four and a half hours and we're gonna try to do some dumpster driving along the way and uh, stop in some towns. We're driving through a lot of like forest on this part like Vermont through New Hampshire is very uh, just rural and so we're gonna try to stop as much as possible and we're gonna start by dumpster diving here in Burlington. Uh, we spent the night here and it was gorgeous. It's a beautiful little town. Uh, we just like walked around a bunch yesterday and got to see it so it's been very fun. So we're excited to do some diving and hopefully we find some good stuff. <laughs> okay y'all we are looking at sure. all of these insurers. Okay I didn't put my gloves on did you? <laughs> No. No, neither. I can't tell if they're empty or... Yeah. Empty? They're empty. Oh, someone just the, loves and shares. The Frappuccinos are empty too. Oh. So well, they might have dumped them. Huh. I don't know if they dumped them the wrong way. Yeah, I can't tell. Or if you have to them, you just like slam an insurance. <laughs> Some employee here loves insurers. All right. Well, there does not appear to be anything here. But here's Squidward on the wall. Pretty sick. <laughs> well, nothing at that one. We're going to the next spot. Okay, we've been to a ton of stores um, and everywhere so far has had like big delivery trucks currently delivering stuff. So we haven't even been able to dive yet, but we've gone to like five stores. But we just found like a row of dumpsters here. So let's see what's in them. This one. Oof, that's like heavy, but kind of feels weird. Oh, trash. Okay, that's trash. Totally empty, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly empty. Okay, we saw some like this earlier too, and they were completely chained shut. I've literally never seen actual chains like this. Oh gosh, this is pet uh, yeah. Petco. This yeah, big crate. They're cracked. They dumped out the food. I can see right there. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> I stepped in that kitty loop. It just felt weird. Hi. Any uh, picture frames in there or up in the frame for uh... Yeah, We're looking. This one's the pet one. Oh, is it? Uh, so I think some of those are. <laughs> Might as well take a look and see. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. This is our first time here. Yeah. Yeah. He's showing us. Awesome. Is there another side over here? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, look what you got! Awesome! That's why I love this fucking one. It's my favorite fucking, um, my favorite fucking dumpster. Do you dive a lot here? Always. Like, always. This one always has the. Like I said, a off. Uh -huh. uh -huh. This one always has paint like, um, like uh, wheels and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. All miscellaneous. Dang. Do you mind I'm filming for YouTube? Can I show what you just pulled out? Sure. That's awesome. Let's see exactly what anyone's looking for. Oh, yeah, look at that. And a brush, perfect brush too. Look at that, that brush is Dang. nice. Dang, no, yeah, that's yeah. like perfect. Oh yeah. Got some Christmas decor in there. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna flip this one over and then look right here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, It's like the wooden frame part for it, but it, I don't know if that would still work. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's 
like the wooden pieces. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I was talking about. Do you see anything else over there? Not really. There's like some of these, I don't know, like storage racks or whatever that they use, but nothing really. Is this a value to you? We wouldn't take this um, right here. Not yet, not yet, but more likely. I'll probably. I'll leave it here. Devin, by the way. What was it? Devin. Devin. My name's Devin. Cool, I'm Kelly, my husband I'm Alex. Kelly. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Good finds today. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, you too, man. Dang, look at that. Oh, it's always a pot. Like, they always have them in here. I don't know why. Maybe they, like, they always get ruined or something during travel. Or, you know? you can, can you just, like, do a little paint right over that and you wouldn't yeah. be able to tell? Yeah, exactly. Like, what I'll do is I'll probably, I'll repair it. You know what I mean? Like, with some late repair. Uh-huh. Uh, and it'll be easy, you know? That one's beautiful. This is going to be great, dude. This is, like, perfect. And I paint, like, I paint, I'm a pretty good painter, you know? Do you sell them somewhere? No, I, I give them away, cool. you know, to people, like, that will, uh, that, like, like, I like to pick people that have stuff in their house a long time, you know what I mean, keep stuff a long time. I feel like it'll last yeah. the longest, you yeah. know, so, so, like, a lot of times that's why I'll give them away for free. I'll be like, hey, if I do this painting, can I give it to you? And a lot of people, like, because I take a lot of time on my paintings, we'll, uh -huh. we'll be, like, all about it, you know? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. What I did is I did drip going down one way and then drip going down this way. So it's like, it's super trippy, you know? That's yeah. cool. If my phone wasn't dead, I'd show you guys. Yeah, you know, yeah, just flat. So sweet. That's cool. Oh, look, here's one. Thing too. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> that Put one? that on the floor. Dang, people, that's awesome. People hate me coming over to their house, though, for sure. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> They're like, you know, I'm definitely a, a messy fucking the paint, you know, painting person. Yeah. But they get a free painting, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's, I'm always like, dude, it washes off, man. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, acrylic. yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's cool. Sweet. Well, uh, you guys, you we're going to hit some more spots. I'm glad you guys fucking got to see this one. Um, that's great, yeah. That one obviously is fucking the store, auto store. I like yeah. this one the best. Um, Staples is around the corner, all the way around. Okay. In the first, the very first one. Okay. Kind of like this, but a little smaller. Sweet. Yeah. We'll go check it out. Yeah, sweet. Nice to meet you, They never have good shit, though. Yeah, yeah. it's hit or miss. Yeah. Right, Sick. Have a good one, man. Well, Happy diving. I feel like the Michaels back home is kind of hit or miss, too. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That big box has great stuff in it. Mm -hmm. That was literally like a box. Yeah, uh-huh. Really like, that is like, I don't understand why this I know. Hi. <laughs> so that was cool. Uh, that was Devin. He said that that one is always really good. Uh, he's a painter and he gets a lot of his like painting supplies from there. So that was actually really cool. We've never met like another diver really like that. Um, especially on this trip, we haven't met anybody. Yeah, it's, I bet it's that one because he said it's the ones similar to the. Yeah, that there's, green some, there's actually a dude diving in that one. I was just going to take a oh. picture of this graffiti. But... Okay, cool. So apparently there's another diver here um, in the dumpster that we were about to go to. So this is like a happening spot for dumpster divers, I guess. So that's cool. We just let him take the stuff. Like he's looking through it and everything. We would just take it to a donation center. And so the fact that he is someone who lives here and is using it for his art, way better use of it. I love that he's getting to use it. So we didn't take anything, uh, but that was really cool to get to meet him. And so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna keep going and we're gonna move on. Well, this is, um, we're running into this situation again. We got all the big trucks right here. Oh wait, oh, look at that. I could look real quick, maybe. Yeah, okay. Oh my God, I'm scared. I don't even have my gloves on. This, oh my God, this is a giant creepy scarecrow. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. This is a giant creepy scarecrow! <laughs> okay, okay. I got the spooky scarecrow in. Oh, look at this juice. Be careful. 
Okay, there we go. Uh, I grabbed these three juices that we can donate and I might actually um, drink one of these. And then look at him. That's so weird. It kind of feels like they left that out there on purpose, actually. So maybe, um, maybe they did do that instead of throwing it away is they left it for somebody to easily find. I like want to keep it. I'm like, how can we ship it back to our yeah. house? I feel like I might just have to live in the back of our truck because yeah. that's like a sick Halloween decoration. I know, it's so cool. He had like a big like raven on his shoulder. Uh, yeah, that was really cool. So, okay. <laughs> that was going to be our last stop. Um, we're headed now to Maine, <laughs> but we're gonna <laughs> be stopping along the way when we see like big shopping divisions or whatever. So that's pretty excited. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna, we're trying to find our way out of this parking lot right now. So I we're just gonna get on the road. And <laughs> we'll keep y'all updated. <laughs> that is so pretty. That was like a waterfall back there. <laughs> There's some right there. Uh, isn't that them just small? There are some plants um, <laughs> that I've been seeing since Indiana that are like, I've never seen anything like them before and I really want to touch one. I can't tell if they, they look soft and I feel like they might be kind of scratchy, but they're right over there. It's that plant. They're like tall stalks. And we thought that we finally found a place that we could pull off and I could touch them. Can you touch them over there? Is that them? Ooh, that might be them. Um, yeah, go that way. But that was blocked because it was like the police parking only. And so I don't want to walk down there. So those those aren't them. Those are them, aren't they? They're no. not like the ripest. Those aren't the ones I want to touch. Look at this beautiful yard. These people understand and appreciate the power of leaves. <laughs> That's a testament to leaves. That is a testament to leaves because in Texas we have leaves, but they don't share beauty. No, they don't look like this. No. Okay. So we're heading on, and you have yet to so touch this So we'll head. Oh no! If you turn right here, what if you go right? You drop me off. I'll touch it. You make a U-turn, and you come back for me. Okay. That's fine. I'll just pull in here. Okay. Chair, and you can run across. The okay. Street. Perfect. Okay, Alex is staying. It's just me and y'all, and we are running across this road to touch these plants. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So this is them. Let me walk down this a little bit. Okay, so I haven't touched it yet. This is what it looks like. It looks soft, right? Oh my god. And they're everywhere. And I literally have been seeing them for like five states. Okay. It is soft, but kind of in like a wire haired dog kind of softness. So I'll remember it forever. And I just want Alex to be able to touch it. Thanks. Okay, he let me go. That was nice. <laughs> it's soft. Is. It's like kind of soft, kind of, kind of like, I just find it as like a wire haired dog fur. It's fair. Yeah, you know? It is fibrous. <laughs> it is soft, but. It's nice. Uh... It's. <laughs> it's the texture of wishing it was softer. <laughs> there you have it, folks. The texture of wishing it was softer. <laughs> I'm so happy I got to touch it though. It very much is, honestly, it exceeded my expectations. I love it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was really awesome. I'm gonna look up and see what it was called, but we're getting back on the road. Woohoo! So I looked it up. Um, there's like an app that identifies plants, which is sick, and it immediately identified it as a common reed, which seems like common. I had never seen one before, but they're also um, highly invasive. Look at this beautiful 
And so before we go too far away from where I originally found it, I'll toss it back out the window because I don't want to take it to Maine if Maine doesn't have any of these. Okay, so there we go. A beautiful common reed. I'm really happy I got to experience that. So now we are officially getting on the road. just got to the capital of Vermont so we wanted to drive through the little town uh, Montpelier Vermont I don't know how to say the actual capital Montpelier but it's a cute little town It's like as you cross the bridge, we cross the Wow! We're in New Hampshire now. It is raining. We just had to pull over and uh, stash our spooky guy in the back. Because <laughs> he was getting rained on. So we're here. So we just pit stopped at McDonald's. We each got a cheeseburger uh, and we are going to try to dive here because this is like the first town that has actually been big enough to dive in. I see a guy right there by their compactor. Wow. Oh yeah, it's like you really can't get back there. Huh, Maybe. interesting, okay. Honestly, the, the energy of the complex that really is police enforcing. Yeah, it does. Okay. okay, well that was a bust. We could not dive there, so we're gonna try to find a couple more spots before we head on. Well, I could already see from the car that this one's locked, but I wanna show y'all. We're right past the Vermont uh, border in New Hampshire, and they like have stuff on lockdown. <laughs> They've got, it's locked on this side, it's locked twice on the top and it's locked on this side. I don't know if there's not a lot of dumpster drivers in New Hampshire, but yeah, they don't like dumpster drivers here for sure. This is the fourth spot we've tried to come now and it's super locked up. And then the other ones like specifically said that we couldn't go back there. Um, so kind of interesting. It's really cool. This is a cool part of dumpster diving in new cities all over the country is getting to kind of learn which ones have accessible dumpsters and you can kind of tell like other people dive here and which ones are like pretty strict about it and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of divers so kind of cool um we're not staying in new hampshire for even one night we're just driving through on the way to maine so maybe we will find some more spots hopefully the rain lets up a little bit as we keep moving along so all right back on the road back on the road to pull off. Literally both of our jaws dropped. <laughs> And so we all know that makes the dumpsters just really messy and rainy and stuff. So we might um, take this morning off from diving and see if it doesn't clear up a little bit later. So right now we are actually going to a local laundromat. Uh, we've washed our clothes like once on the road so far at a hotel uh, that offered laundry. And so we're kind of getting to the point we just need to get this done. And so we're headed to a laundromat and we're going to go to a coffee shop uh, and we're going to work for a little 
little bit. So we're kind of switching our plan up for this morning, but it's kind of a fun way to get to see this city. Maine is definitely a place that we have talked about moving to before. And so it's um, kind of cool to get to spend a little bit of time in this one uh, and see what it's like uh, to live here for like two days. <laughs> and so, yeah, we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna head over. Well, we just um, now are leaving the laundromat. We washed two big trash bags full of clothing that we found. It was actually really cool. A lot of it was vintage and we kept some of it. Um, and then it was like a ton of socks um, with like matching pairs of socks and uh, really warm like flannel pants and stuff. So we're gonna find somewhere right now to donate those uh, because since it's still raining, we don't wanna put them into the truck bed. And so we're gonna find somewhere to do that. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like the rain's letting up. So we're probably not gonna dive. So I will just show y'all our donation. Donations. Okay, well, we went into Hannaford's, which is a supermarket here that's actually really cool. Uh, we liked it a lot. We grabbed some trash bags and we're putting the clothes that we washed that we found in the trash into some trash bags so that we can donate them. This is what I was talking about. These are flannel lined and that's what all of these are. They're very warm and this one even is like, it's like fur lined. <laughs> See how warm that looks? Sweats with, <laughs> Sweats with the fur. So there's all that. We have a trash bag here that we already put all of the socks that we paired up in. These are really good socks. Sometimes when we find socks, um, they're like, you know, you can't find the pairs for them or whatever, but all of these had pairs. A lot of them have the grips on the bottom, uh, but there's some really good socks in there. And then we're gonna put these clothes in too. Ooh, the rain's starting to come down <laughs> heavy. <laughs> We got to. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna tie it up super tight uh, since it is raining, but that's a big bag of clothes right there. Yeah, we can just put it in there for now. Back there. Okay. Okay, we um dropped our bag off at the Salvation Army. They had a truck picking up like the donations right now, so we didn't put them in a bin or anything. We gave them right to them and uh, we did our laundry, we washed those clothes and now we are headed to a coffee shop. Um, I'm gonna actually start editing this video and working on it so that I can get it posted. So that was a pretty um, good trip, a good dive uh, from Vermont all the way here to Maine. It was cool meeting Devin uh, and we definitely saw a lot of really beautiful things along the way. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for tagging along with us and we'll see you next time. Have a great week. Happy diving. Happy Bye. Diving, folks.